muted. Hi there, I'm Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the AM Volatility Report reminder. This is for education purposes only. Now this should be considered investment advice. Options have risk. Consult your financial professional. Well, as you can see, uh, the French elections are over, and Macron won, and Le Pen uh, reached the second round. Um, where the, mar the street is taking this as extremely bullish. The reason being is Le Pen's group, um, the belief is potentially she may not get many more votes than she got in the first round. Meanwhile, the conservative group, the conservative party and the socialists and some of the, um, the centrist groups that, that are anything but uh, the far left uh, will not... Uh, Will not uh, uh, will not uh, are all going to back Macron. So that's kind of where the belief is that things will will happen. So um, so where does this kind of take us? Well, you can see the VIX um, is trading itself at you know 1196. We've got um, a huge drop in the VIX futures. Let me pull up the futures here. I mean, you know, you'd think these would pop in in order, but they do not. Um, I mean, the May future was 13, or was well over 14 yesterday. June was well over 14. They're down a dollar, a dollar 15, just huge drops in the VIX futures. Uh, and that leads us to a VIX that is now 1196 and a market that is 2370, almost near the all-time highs. The Dow making another run at 2100, right? So where, what's moving markets? Where is the strength coming from? Everywhere you'd expect, right? Amazon's up 10, big move higher than Apple. Um, your Facebook's up, but also check out your financials. Goldman's up seven. JP Morgan is up $2.50. Um, a lot of the, the big names, a lot of the financials are up huge because this is going to be very beneficial to them, all right? Um, things are a little softer in retail. You know, retail is not moving that much. Bonds are down a lot. I'm expecting bonds to take a precipitous dive. Um, you know, TLT is down a dollar right now. I'm expecting a, a serious dive in bond in the bond market. And gold. I think gold and bonds are both due for a dip. Uh, the other area where really nothing's super exciting is happening is energy. XLE is up the least of the major uh, sector ETFs, obviously, with rates moving around. Uh, utilities are also down. But you know, XRT is up half a percent. You can see some of the different ones. The big move higher, financials are up two and a half percent. Um, XLI, the uh, tech and industrials are up uh, over 1%. That is where the market is garnering its strength, right? Um, and, you know, you can see the major individual pieces. You got the, the run up the most, big, big outside move. Uh, the S&P up 1%, the Dow up 1%, and the uh, the NDX is... Uh, also up uh, 1%. So the rut moving the hardest, but the rest of the indexes are moving quite well. Um, and with a, you know, and that's kind of the way the markets have kind of lined themselves. On the day, I don't, would not be surprised if we end up up 30 day. This is one of those days where I would be less than shocked if we get a lot of outside buying. Um, and, you know, we get just some some big money flowing in. Financials have gotten stronger since the open. Um, I think that they by when all is said and done, we could see a just really strong move in in Goldman and, and J.P. Morgan and some of these other names, an outside move. Uh, that's just the way I think things line up. All right, folks. Um, you know, I just want to. We've got uh, just to remind you about events. Uh, we've got the Trader Summit coming up, and we've got our Condor Intensive on May 6th, 
which will be uh, starting at 9.30 in the morning, which will be great. So make sure you get yourself signed up for that if you want to learn about uh, how to effectively trade condors. All right, folks, got questions, you can email me, marketoptionpit.com, or you can call me 888-TRADE-01.